Big news from the highest courts in the country potentially affecting the fate of a man right here in Central Texas. The Supreme Court sided with Rodney Reed in a lawsuit case related to DNA evidence. But first, we want to make a correction. Now, this is Rodney Reed. At 6 o'clock, one of our graphics showed you a photo of Rodney King instead. We regret that error. Rodney Reed was convicted of killing 19-year-old Stacy Stites decades ago, and he's been on death row since the late 90s. He was set to be executed in 2019, but that was delayed. For years, Reed and his attorneys have been fighting for more crime scene DNA testing to include the murder weapon to ultimately help his case. Well, now the Supreme Court is saying a lower court got it wrong by not allowing more DNA testing. As you would imagine, this has been very emotional for both families involved. Jayla Washington has their reaction. All right. Since the 1997 murder conviction and death row sentence, Rodney Reed and his family have been fighting in court. Praise God. Now they have a little hope. We don't want him to be, you know, pardoned. We don't want, we want exoneration. 19 year old murder victim Stacy Stites family hoped they were nearing some closure. It's time for our family to be able to move on. It's um, torturous for victims, families to have to continue to relive this over and over and over again. The Supreme Court sided with Reed on Wednesday morning related to a 2014 motion. That's when Reed filed in a Texas state court asking for DNA testing on specific evidence, including the belt used to strangle Stites. I don't think that testing the belt and the DNA that they're going to find on it is going to make any difference. DNA on the belt doesn't negate the fact of the DNA that was found on her dead body, especially the saliva that was on her breast. A judge then denied Reed's motion, saying the evidence wasn't well preserved. And so why wouldn't they test the DNA right out the gate? If they don't test the DNA, that's a red flag. They're telling you something's wrong. Reed went on to sue in federal court, claiming the move was unconstitutional. And that's where the Supreme Court Wednesday said it agrees. Justice Samuel Alito writing, There is room for debate about exactly when Reed's DNA testing claim accrued. But in my view, the notion that this did not take place until rehearing was denied is clearly wrong. This is just a stall tactic. We want citizens to be known around the world, just like they tried to put him to death. That was Jayla Washington reporting Stacy Stites murder anniversary is coming up on the 23rd. It'll be 27 years since she was killed. Now digging deeper on this, the Innocence Project says they've secured more than 240 victories. Their attorneys also count nearly 200 clients exonerated by DNA. They say they've also received more than 65,000 letters from incarcerated people asking for their help when it comes to DNA. The cost for DNA testing in just one case runs from $5,000 to $50,000.